loud in here. <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks you guys. We're gonna get started. Thank you so much. We have a very enthusiastic studio audience because right now this is the only live show Barry has planned for his brand new album, My Dream Duets. It's got 11 tracks. Barry Manilow, when asked who would he most love to sing with, gave a list in his mind and he, with his co-producer, thought of the people he'd love to sing with. It turned out that they had all sadly already passed. So how is he singing with them? He's gonna tell you all about it as soon as I tell you this. Right now you can pre-order Dream Duets from Barry Manilow, brand new. It's gonna ship out to you later in October. And also, you're going to get a bonus CD, which includes four never-released tracks that were recorded along with his very popular live album, Live from London, back in 2012. You're gonna receive those tonight as well. He's gonna be performing some songs from both. In fact, here he is, the music legend, Barry Manilow. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hi. Uh, this is our fifth show together. Wow. I'm excited. Wow. I'm so, excited too. I know you want to talk a little bit about this new project. I don't want to call so it an album. It's like this whole new project no one else has done before. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite album yet. See that? I, I, was, I didn't know what to expect, and then I, I started crying when I heard half the song. That's so interesting that you say <laughs> that, because I was singing duets <laughs> with these legends yeah. that shouldn't have been emotional, but it sounds like it is. Yeah. It is an emotional album. It's... um. Uh, like Carolyn said, I, I put together these, uh, these 11 songs uh, that were originally recorded by some of the legendary singers and performers. And it was the most challenging and complicated album I've ever made. This took a lot of people to make this album. Well, all he was given and, and came up with were these vocal tracks that were taken out of the music they were originally well, recorded before with. Before that, before that, yeah. what we started with was the old records okay. that sound terrible. Yeah. You know, old... Because they're 40, 50 or more right. years old. Okay, so there's this company, this really brilliant company that can take the orchestra off of those old records and leave me with just the voice. Yeah. And that was like heaven to me because I, I know a little bit about, a lot about technical stuff mm -hmm. um, making music. I was able to take those voices and turn them into duets and reorchestrate the background and redo the entire arrangement. It took months and months to do this with a lot of very talented people. But here it is, my dream duets. My dream, these are people that I would have loved to would have been able to sing with. Well, we're gonna share some of them with you tonight. We're gonna tell you about all the other ones that you're not gonna be able to hear until you get the CD, but order it. It's gonna ship out to you later this month as soon as the album is released. And you're going to get the double set for just $17.98 exclusively at QVC. Shall we start with Judy? Yeah, All fine. Right. Here uh, comes Judy Garland, number right, so one. Here, let me just explain what this is. I wanted to make this album a little more interesting, so in front of a lot of the cuts, I found something that would be a little more interesting than just starting to sing the song. Like, for instance, I did uh, Moon River with Andy Williams, right? Beautiful song, right? We all love that, right? So Andy Williams had this uh, TV show for a long time, and he used to open his show with this song. May each day of the week be a good day. May the Lord always watch over you. You know that song? Did anybody remember that the theme song? Right? So for Judy, I read something about uh, the fact that she cho changed her name from Francis to Judy because she had heard this song on the radio in the 1930s written by a very famous composer named Hoagie Carmichael. And the name of the song was Judy. And she changed her name from Francis to Judy. So I, I used a little bit of that song to get into this song. And it goes like this. If her voice can bring every hope of the spring, that's Judy, my Judy. In a hundred ways, you'll be shouting her praise. That's Judy, my Judy. Dear, when you smile at me, my oh my, I heard a melody. You and I haunted me from the start. Was 
like a breath of spring I heard a robin sing About a nest set apart All nature seemed to be In perfect harmony Sing went the strings of my heart Your eyes made the sky seem blue again what else could I do again? I keep repeating through and through I love you, love I you. love you, I still recall the thrill I guess I always will I hope, hope will we'll never depart Dear, with your lips to mine Oh, rhapsody divine All right, so as we're getting seated, just a reminder, we've already sold about 4,000 CDs. Right. You guys, we, you. we don't have an unlimited number of these tonight. And remember, we are sending them to you October 28th. You're pre-ordering, reserving your sets tonight. What a fabulous holiday gift. You're getting 15 tracks, including 11 brand new old Brand Duets. Yeah. Brand I love it. And yeah. of course, here's the man himself. Right now, you don't have a tour scheduled that I know of. I mean, maybe you'll spill some beans for us you later. Know, but I, I miss it. I know. I do. I miss the audiences. I miss the band. I miss the lights. I miss the whole feeling. I, act, you know, I promised that I would stay home with the dogs for a little while longer. You know, <laughs> but I miss it. I might, I might actually go out again soon. Well, you probably will. But all of you watching at home and all of our folks here in the studio audience, you are seeing Barry do these songs for the very first time live. And we're going to talk a little bit more about how you did that. But I noticed Judy Garland looked better than ever and sounded <laughs> yeah. better than ever. And that's well, saying a lot. Well, you know, you're right. These vocals that we got, you know, these days we do multi-track vocals. That mm -hmm. means the vocal is on a separate track, then right. the band is on a separate track, and the guitar. In those days, these songs were done when these people were standing in the room with the orchestra around them, and that's all we got. Yeah. So what they gave me was, I told you, this company who removed the orchestra mm -hmm. and made Judy sound like we were singing yesterday. And then, of course, your brilliant arrangements, all yeah. the new uh, music that you Thank added you. to it yeah. to make it sound more modern yeah. and more full Doesn't and everything. Doesn't it sound like we recorded it yesterday? Yeah, it sounded like she was standing right here. Your old song? And I know David Benson and you really collaborated uh, David, on every piece of this David, album. David, my mentor, my teacher, yeah. David, uh, David um, without David, we wouldn't have this album. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the other things coming up. First of all, I have to ask you, have, have you ever sung with Liza Minnelli or would you like to? I would. Th thinking of Judy, would, you know, yeah. that's the first person that popped and, into you know, mind. Her, her sister and Judy's and second Lorna. daughter, Lorna. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. sung together, but no, not, not with Liza. Well, you've been busy. You've had two albums come out this year. First yeah. of all, Live from Paris, Las Vegas, which right. was awesome. And then also Night Songs. And now go, here's number three. Go. Yeah. So, yeah, I just keep going, right? This is awesome, though, Barry. <laughs> yeah. And we're so thrilled you're back. Thank you. It's been several years since you were here. Yeah. So, uh, Jimmy Durante and Mama Cass are two more of the artists you work with on this. Okay, so I found this fun this fun song called the song's got to start from the heart the song's got to start from the heart 
So I found it and I looked at this a film that Jimmy Durante did with Frank Sinatra and they sing this song in this film. Yeah. I said, that would be a great way to open this album. Yeah. And then Mama Cass, yeah. one of the great voices, yeah. right? One She's of the great fabulous. voices. Mm -hmm. I was told that when the, when, the, when the group broke up, she did five albums. Wow. And this was the biggest single, the, uh, the Dream song. A little dream. dream a Little Dream. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was great. It was great doing this album, having these people's voices in my ear on my headset. It, it was really deep. I mean it. It was really deep. John Denver. John Denver, an old friend. We're going to ha talk, and you're going to sing him with him now, but this is the one that made me cry, and my husband <laughs> actually turned it off the first time halfway through oh. because it just because it was so good, it Thank brought you. back all these vivid memories of yeah. when we're younger, and it's the 70s, and, and we miss John because yeah. he was gone way too soon. Oh, really? So, all these people gone, gone way too soon. John, you know, did one of my TV specials, and we became, we became friends, a talented guy. And I love doing doing Sunshine on My Shoulders with him. Well, my dream duets continues now with Barry singing live. This is Sunshine on My Shoulders. Right. Get your box of Kleenex ready. <laughs> you know, we put together some uh, videos. We put together some videos for the uh, for these songs so that you can see them as well as hear them. These beautiful voices. All right, let's go. Barry, you did such an amazing job. And <laughs> I have to tell you now, we're 6,000 of your new CDs ordered. Oh, thank this you. This is my dream duet. 
Barry well, Manilow's is. dream it, duet. It is. Now you know why I'm calling it my dream duets. Yeah. These are the people that I would have loved to have done songs with. Well, John Denver, he was so amazing. And in the 70s, of course, Rocky Mountain High became the state right. song of Colorado. Right. He's, he's, again, a legend and gone too soon. Well, you so. know, there were, there were a lot of choices that each one yeah. of these artists, uh, I could have done any one of those John Denver songs. Mm -hmm. I just, I've always loved Sunshine yeah, on my That was shoulders. such a beautiful yeah. song. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Again, this is my dream duets. You're hearing it for the first time on QVC. This is a world premiere of Barry's new CD, which is going to ship out and be released on October 28th. By the way, uh, the first time you've done an album, I think, with Universal and Verve. Is that right? Right, and they're, yeah. and they're great. Yeah. And they're great. There's this guy, well, David Foster. You know David sure. Foster, right? Yeah. Well, he's, he's a, you know, he's funny and very, 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 very good at what he does. And then there's a guy named Jay Landers who did this album with me. I mean, he was very encouraging. This was a scary project to do for me. Yeah. Really, I didn't, you know, I was on a road that I've never been on, you know. I kept saying to myself, what are you doing? <laughs> Why don't you just call your friends and do a duet album like everybody else does, you know? I guess I just don't like to, to take the easy way out. Well, and this is so different than you had that very famous duets album that was out uh, a few years ago when yeah. you were on there with Barbara and right. Reba and right. You know, those, uh, were, well, those, were, those were songs over the years. That's that, a yeah, compilation yeah. of the ones right. you had done. Right. Uh, this is something totally different. Well, you're getting a bonus CD, and I think we're going to talk about that and, right. and sing some songs from that with this set exclusive to QVC. You will not be able to get that anywhere else but here. It's four tracks that you recorded in England at the OU Arena. O2. The O2. O2, 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 O2 yeah, Arena. Very famous place. I, do, I, I go back to England periodically, and we play the O2 Arena. And, but on that tour that that album comes from, I was accompanied by the London Philharmonic yeah. Orchestra, and this is like, it was like a, another dream come true, hearing, you know, all that music coming behind me. I mean, Weekend in New England, I really felt like just stopping singing and yeah. letting them play by themselves. So uh, these are four cuts, because you only have so much time on a right. CD. These are four cuts, they're called outtakes. And, um, and we're, we're, we've given you uh, four songs. Well, the first one, I believe you wrote for uh, Copacabana the Musical. That's right. And so we're gonna sing that now. Uh, this is Sweet Heaven, I'm In Love Again. Remember, this is never before released. And if you love the Live in London compilation, you're going to love having this to add to that collection. You ready, okay. Barry? Yeah. Okay, okay now you here gotta we go. clap along or something, okay? Like oh, can that. I stay here for this one? Yeah, clap along. Oh, good, okay. okay. All right. Here I go. Sweet heaven, I'm in love again Sweet heaven, I'm in love again You came along, now what can I do? I only want to be with you Sweet heaven, here I go again I'm hooked from head to toe again One minute I'm so long 
Jerry Manilo. <laughs> wow. Thank Our you. good friend Barry. Barry Manilo back for our fifth show together, and more than that, QVC, you've been a longtime friend of ours. We just adore you. No. Thank you for being back today. Thanks for inviting and, me. I, mean, I love he, doing this. And he's debuting his, this is the world premiere of My Dream Duets right now on Q Sessions Live. This is a live show. We haven't edited anything out. How um, many live shows are left, a music show like this? Not many. Not many, Not many not at many. all. Yeah. So let me just repeat, if you're just tuning in, this is QVC, this is Barry Manilow Live. <laughs> Over 8,000 of his new CD have been ordered. This is My Dream Duets. 11 tracks recorded with some of Barry's dream artists that he would have always loved to sing with, but unfortunately they have passed away too soon. So Barry was able to magically, through the magic of now computers and digitizing and all the things that we can do with music, right. take these voice tracks, make them sound better than ever, right. and rearrange the music as you do so well. You got it. Re record, re orchestrate, Go, baby, and they sound better than ever. And what you just heard was actually from the bonus CD that you're only gonna receive from QVC, which is four songs recorded back in 2012, along with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, right. live in London, and they didn't make it onto the original live album, which was Barry's best-selling live album since 1974. All right. So if you have that, you'll love having this bonus, which you're gonna do some more from in a little while. Yeah, right. All right, right, so let's talk about uh, Dusty Springfield, one of my favorites. Did you like ever. that one? Uh, Did so, you like that a one? song from Casino Royale, right. The Look of Love. The Look of Love. Yeah. You remember that one. Right. Yeah, it's great. You know, these artists were so great. It took me a long time to figure out where I should come in. Yeah. I was so in love with these records when I was, you know, growing up that when Dusty's voice came in, I said, How dare you make her mute her voice and then you. Sing. So I didn't on Dusty. I just mm -hmm. harmonized with Dusty all the way through. And ooh, it's a beautiful and it's, sounding It's such record. a beautiful, romantic, sexy yeah. song. I remember one time when we were working together, you uh, were doing your, your CD of the songs from the 60s. Right, and right. you had talked a bit about how nobody writes lyrics like that anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and you had mentioned love is a many splendored thing. Mm -hmm. and, and I always think about that now when I hear some of the newer music. And some of it is very good. But a lot of it's just like, oh, I wish we well, had there, these writers and, yeah. and lyricists in, again, you You're know? Absolutely Absolutely right, but you know now, now the sound of pop music is all about the rhythm, yeah. and it's great, and that uh, does a lot of great uh, sounding records. But I do miss a good lyric and a good melody. I don't. I do. I miss a good lyric and a good. And now and again, something will come on. You go, oh, and you know what? When I hear that, oh, they usually become big records yeah, too, because yeah. I think the public is always looking for a good melody and a good lyric, and usually they become popular if they have that. Okay, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers is yeah. also on this album. Now, Goody Goody, you guys remember the song Goody Goody? You know, he sounded a lot like Michael Jackson in the Jackson 5 I, back I, then, and I think it was really the other way around, well, it's wasn't funny it? because it, um, I was told that Michael Jackson, uh, Frankie Lyman was Michael Jackson's idol. Mm -hmm. now, you can, now you can tell when you hear Frankie sing yeah. this. Right? He was only 13. Right. He sounds amazing. So right. you'll hear Goody Goody on this new CD as well. Uh, we have a couple of viewer questions, and then we're going to let you sing again. Okay. You ready? Right. Angela wants to know, is there going to be a Dream Duets 2? <laughs> She's already bought the first one. When's the next one coming? <laughs> Let's wait. Let's <laughs> wait and see what happens with this one. But, you know, I had such a great time doing this, Angela. That, you know, and there are a lot of people that I did leave out. Mm -hmm. After I finished it, you know, I want, people said, why don't you do one with George Harrison? Why don't you do one with John Lennon? What about Marvin Gaye? You know, I got a lot of requests for Karen Carpenter. I would have loved to do, yeah. But she only had one solo album out, and the rest of her songs all came from the Carpenters mm -hmm. albums. So that you know, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And that one album, I listened to it, and I couldn't find anything in it to do a duet with, with Karen. Aww. That would have been great. Well, I'm sure that you'll have many more of these, and we're going to look forward to every <laughs> single one. The first one's phenomenal. Um, Helena wants to know, when are you coming back to visit Brooklyn? Brooklyn, yeah. <laughs> Isn't there, Hometown. Isn't there a, a, um, uh, an, an arena, a place in Brooklyn? I yeah. think Barbara did, I forget the name of it, the Bar Barclay something or other. Yeah, yeah. And you know, if I actually go out again, I probably would go back to Brooklyn. Well, that, you mean that. when, not if. Yeah. When? <laughs> Don't know yet. Don't leave that if. Right. All right, so let's talk about Whitney Houston. Yeah. What a tragedy. Well, you want to talk about Gone Too Soon. And, and, yeah, I know. And, and I'm so glad you put this song on the CD. Right. Uh, I am, too. It's one of my favorites uh, of the whole CD. And um, 
Again, you know, this was a very emotional album, you know, singing with these wonderful people, but with Whitney, you know, I, I hit the space bar and her voice came out of my speakers without any echo on it, without any EQ on it. She was standing in front of me at, at her prime, at, at the best of her voice. And uh, I had to go for the Kleenex a lot yeah. on this album, yeah. on this song. I mean, I, it was difficult to try to find what, what could I sing with Whitney? She's got, you know, she's got this beautiful gospel, these choices that she makes from the church, you know? And it took me about three days to figure out where I should sing and where I should harmonize. Mm -hmm. But I really like what this one came out like. We saw her when she was in her early 20s back in Indianapolis when we were much younger too. This was probably in the early 80s. Uh, mid, maybe mid to early 80s and she came out on stage and she was in a sparkly dress and she was so pretty and she seemed so shy and reserved and mm. then she belted out these songs. She had just the most amazing voice. Ama amazing like an angel. An amazing instrument. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can hear that, what we're talking about. Yeah. This cut is, is, is that. So would you like to hear another song? Okay. This is I Believe in You and Me from Barry Manilow's My Dream Duets. Now about 9,000 ordered. Okay, let's see if I can get through this without the Kleenex. Okay. I believe in you and me. I believe that we will be eternally well as far as I can see you will always be the one for me my friend for me I believe in dreams again dreams again I believe that love will never end never Baby 
speak to us, Whitney. Wow. I have goosebumps <laughs> and Kleenex. Oh my nice. gosh. That was absolutely Thank you. perfection. Thank you. And Thank how you. difficult that must have been. Yeah, now, but, you can, but, you, now you see what I'm talking and, about, right? And it's not just a matter of it redoing the vocals and making them sound good and inserting them into some new music. It's the harmonizing <laughs> yeah. with these people that, who are so fabulous and nobody overpowers anyone else. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really like they're right here in the room. Uh, I, uh, that was my goal. And my goal was to make sure the audience knew how talented these people were. Yeah. I tried not to get in their way. I'm crazy about that last song. I'm that crazy was fantastic. So you're listening to My Dream Duet from Barry Manilow, world premiere on Q Sessions Live. You can order it along with our special four-track bonus CD from Live in London that Barry did back in 2012, never before released. For under $18, we'll ship it out to you on October 28th when the album is released. Barry's first ever album on Verve Universal, and it's so exciting to have you back. Thank yeah, you so thank much. Oh, great, great. Um, thank you for wow. inviting me. Okay, guess how many gone now? Mm. Over 10,000. All right, let's go. Over 10,000 ordered, and <laughs> we you. invite you to get more than one. I'm getting this for my mom and dad. I'm getting this for so many people on my list because there's songs that appeal to everyone of every age on yeah. this CD. I you think know? you're right, and you yeah. know, there, there, there are songs that were popular a long time ago. You know, I mean, they, they hold up. They hold up today, but they, you know, they were in the 50s, 60s, maybe 70s. Well, I remember a little movie that came out in 1959 mm. with, uh, let's see, Tony Curtis as a girl mm. and Jack Lemmon as a girl. Yeah, you said but, it's your favorite but, movie? But neither one of them was as good of a girl as that girl that was in it with them, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Yeah, I did a duet with Marilyn Monroe. Come on, man. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. And that dress in that movie, woo, it was sewn onto her, right, I think. Right, <laughs> But, you know, people don't uh, give her credit uh, for singing. And, uh, yeah. you know, I said, Would this, could this possibly work, singing with Marilyn? And I studied this song. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, 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 what is it? Uh, it's, uh, 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 come on, come on. Be I want to be loved by you, you just you, and, and nobody else but you. Oh, I was going to do the right. harmony. Right. Oh, that was my dream duet right, right. there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> boop, boop, be doop. Yeah, she does her boop, boop, be doop, and I do my Mel Torme. It's really, you know, it's re it, it turned into a really entertaining yeah. cut, I yeah. think. I think people would be surprised. Well, you'll have to get the CD to hear that one, and it is well worth it. Oh, did you hear all the awes? Yeah. Well, I want to talk real quick about a couple things that you've been busy doing. You had, you wrote a musical called Harmony, yeah. and I know you're very yeah. proud of it. I am. It's one of my proudest achievements, and uh, thank you. Thank you for that. We uh, they, we played, uh, played it there in, uh, in Atlanta, and it did ridiculously well, and then came to, uh, to L.A., and did very well again, and now uh, it's on its way with a, with a, with two great producers. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I've been maybe New York for next. so many years. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, and the other thing, I know you were just at uh, Barbara Davis's charity for children with diabetes, the, the Carousel around, of Hope. So. I haven't been stalking right. you, but following okay. you very uh, closely. <laughs> I haven't been one of those yet, right, okay. although close. So, but that was pretty neat, because you were at the Beverly Hilton, and that was yeah. a big to-do. I, I, did, I did the carousel ball a couple of times. And too. I know that you're a huge philanthropist, and your main thing, though, is the Manilow Music Project. Can yeah. you tell us about that for folks who aren't familiar? Well, there's two things about the Manilow Music Project. The Music Proje Project, in general, gives we give money away to charities that need it. But my part of it, my part of it, is putting brand new musical instruments into the hands of kids in schools that can't afford them or they're running out of income. Yeah. Yeah. So we keep doing it. We keep, uh, I keep doing benefits and stuff so we can raise money for that. My nephew is 13, is, and, is he he, and he's playing the saxophone thanks well, to a wonderful teacher that yeah. w provided him with this instrument at school. Right. And he's really good. Oh, well, see that? That's what I'm doing. That's what I yeah. want to do. You know, so, if, I, if somebody asked me today on a, uh, in an interview, what, what advice would you give to a young musician or a young singer? And you, you would think it, it would be, uh, I don't know, about performing or this. Mm -hmm. Here's my advice. Tell your nephew yes, to John learn Logan. to read mm -hmm. music. Yeah. If you can read music, whether you're a singer or, or a musician, you can always work. Yeah. You can work in a band, you can be a studio singer, 
behind commercials or records. And if you become Whitney Houston, well, great. Mm -hmm. But if you really want a career in music, learn how to read music. Great that's, that's advice, my, Barry. That's thank my you my so advice. much. Right. Great advice. All right, we're going to uh, allow you to run to the phone real quick and get your copy of my dream duets plus the bonus cd while barry gets ready to sing another one of the bonus tracks which are the live in london tracks never before released uh, this one is from your sixth studio album back in 1979 the live version is what you'll be receiving of who's been sleeping in yes. my bed That's why I miss being on the oh, road. Oh, man. Did we show the audience during the... I, I don't have a monitor. I, I hope so, because not one person was in their seat. That's good. Wow. That's good. I have to ask you this, since I wouldn't be a good QVC show host if I didn't. Have you ever tried... Have you ever tried <clears throat> polar fleece sheets? Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna send you some. Okay, why? Because your doggies will love them as much as you do. Oh. Yes, they're the softest <laughs> well, I, things you ever slept on. How do you on. know my doggies sleep with me? Oh, I know you, <laughs> I know they do. Oh, and that's why you stay home with them. That's right. All right, so this is my dream duets from Barry Manilow, and that was one of the four special bonus tracks that you'll only receive if you order your CD from QVC. Wow, how awesome.
awesome is that? And by the way, those live tracks sound amazing. They're great, right? They Michael sound Lloyd, amazing. Michael Lloyd, if you're listening, thanks, Michael. Thanks, he Michael makes Lloyd. the whole thing produced. Yay. Yeah. Uh, guess what? Over 14,000 sold. Hey, come uh, on. That's great. And I, have, hope, I hope you all enjoy the, the record as much as I enjoyed making it, man. I want you to look at that camera and say, welcome, that camera, to all to the 300 brand new QVC customers who welcome bought your CD. The, welcome, uh, welcome to the 300 new QVC customers who want to buy <laughs> buying the CDs, oh, yeah, thank see, you so he's, much. See, you're so yeah, great, Barry. Yeah. How about that? You shop with QVC? Barry Manilow says thank you, see? Special yeah. stuff around here. All right, couple more um, yep. viewer questions from my Facebook page. All right, All right Jill wants to know, <clears throat> yes. what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? As if. Well, I, 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 you know, my answer, of course, is I make music all day long. Mm -hmm. It's either, you know, I've got so many projects down in the pipeline. I've, I'm all, you know, there may be enough, I can't say it, another album uh, uh -huh. next year, you know, and, uh, but there's always, some, there's always something. But these days, uh, you know, I love reading. Yeah. I'm in the middle of a couple, a couple of books at, at the same time. And these days, I've actually started to watch television. Really? I've never done it. My goal, I've been on the road for so many years, my goal was to know when Judge Judy was on. <laughs> 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 so I, I love it. So I started to watch TV, and there's some good stuff. Some I think you need to go back on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Don't you guys think? Yeah. And they were fun. That was fun. I think they need to do Frankie Lyman's Goody Goody, and that's somebody needs to do a now, jive dance to yeah, that song. That's the one. That's the one. I think yeah. I'll call those people I, up. I think we should call them done. right now. Tom Bergeron, are you listening? <laughs> all right, so um, we've talked about all these great people that are on the CD. If you've been missing part of the show, let me just reiterate. I Believe in You and Me from Whitney Houston, Sunshine on My Shoulders, John Denver, Zing Went the Strings of My Heart, Judy Garland. There are songs from Frankie Lyman we just mentioned, Mama Cass, Andy Williams, Moon River. How about uh, Henry Mancini? Mm. Oh, my gosh, what a great song. Great. The Look of Love from Dusty Springfield. Great. Jimmy Durandy's there. Great. The Candy Man from Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. is on this CD. Great, great fun doing that one. You know, I was, I was having such great fun with Sammy Davis Jr. in my headset. I forgot he wasn't standing in yeah. front of me. I, when I stopped yeah. and he kept singing, I, oh, oh, right. Yeah. I mean, those are the moments no, that were that, so deep. And that uh, song was something that came out, I think, in 1971 in Willy Wonka, the Gene Wilder yeah, Willy Wonka yeah, movie, yeah, but then yeah, Sammy right. did it made it a number one hit the following he year. Did. Um, we have one other song that we haven't talked about yet that's on the CD, and it's one of my absolute favorites. Mm. And it's a song that I read, I don't know if this is true, but I read that it was offered to Tony Bennett, who turned it down. Yeah, you were saying that, I didn't know that. And um, so I'm not quite sure if that's true because it's such a fabulous song, but you and I both said that we had never even really heard of this song until right. the movie Good Morning Vietnam came right. out. And they played uh, Louis Armstrong singing this song in that movie, you probably all remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's how it mm -hmm. became uh, popular. But this one, I did something very interesting on this yeah. one. Um, I, I, Bruce and I, my, my collaborator, Bruce Sussman, he writes the most beautiful lyrics uh, to, to so many of my songs. And we, we wrote a second song <laughs> that fits over the Louis Armstrong song. Wow. Uh, his song is What a Wonderful World. We wrote A Wonderful Life. Oh. And if you play them both together, they fit perfectly. It's, it's kind of a complicated thing to do. Irving Berlin was the best at doing songs like that. Mm -hmm. And so this took a while to figure out, but I really like it. I, I really, I'm gonna sing that one for you next. It, it, we're gonna sing it next. Yeah. Uh, but first I have to ask you, what are you doing New Year's Eve? Because, <laughs> because I know that's Johnny Mathis' song, but right. because Barbara says she's not booked yet. Oh. She just wanted to let you know that. She's oh. one of our Facebook fans. Oh, all right. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in my, uh, in my calendar. In her Barbara, little black you book. Me. All right, so again, let me reiterate, uh, we have now less than half of our quantity remaining of Barry Manilow's brand new My Dream Duets. There are lots of you on the lines. Get as many as you can while you're on there. It's gonna be hard to get through. This is gonna ship out to you October 28th. You'll have it in plenty of time for stocking stuffing and gift giving and playing at your holiday parties. You're gonna love every single song 
on this album. I guarantee it's not going to be just one or two that you play over and over. But she's serious. You're going to love them all. She's, I mean it. She's You're serious. Gonna, and, it's and so wait great. To, you got to play it in your car or on your <laughs> bows and hear the music. And the vocals are just amazing. You, you really feel like Thank that you. other person is there with you, Barry. Yeah, you did an amazing job. It's an amazing, it's a miracle that this album could take place, not just because of my work, but so many guys. You know, you heard that uh, phrase, it takes a village. This yeah. took a state, a state to do this album. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to let you sing It's a Wonderful All right. World. All right. Or What a Wonderful World. This, along with Louis Armstrong, ladies and gentlemen, Barry Manilow. All right. Okay, let's go. So here's a song that Bruce and I wrote. I start the song off with this one, and then I come back later on with the end of this one. But here's how our song begins. Every day I wake up full of wonder, one more chance at a promising day. Of that song, Barry. Thank you. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. Every one of these songs has so much feeling to it and, and just brings back such great feelings inside and mm. memories and good. Uh, you, you picked some great, <laughs> Thank you. not only uh, songs, but the, the people, everybody looks great. They're in their prime. They sound better than they well, ever that did. Was what, that's what was so moving about it, that they yeah. were all in their prime, all young and beautiful and singing great. And, you know, it's just, it's, uh, we all, you know, get older and these people will never get old, not on my record. <laughs> I know that, um, I know, that's so awesome, isn't it? I know that uh, you were talking about um, Moon River and that you, you played it for uh, one of the family members that was oh, still... Oh, I haven't played it for Ginny yet. Ginny Mancini is, uh, is Henry Mancini's uh, uh, widow. widow. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, and I know her. She's one of the greats, one of the mm -hmm. great people. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of charity work uh, Ginny does, and I can't wait to show her. I just, uh, I think that, I, I'm just thinking that the any of the relatives and family of these people would that, uh, that they the would heirs, absolutely love what you've done with these songs. I would hope that the heirs of these people mm -hmm. would be happy with what I've yeah, done. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah. So uh, I, I wanted to ask you a couple more questions. We had so many viewer questions. Do you have a favorite song that you like to sing? Is there something that just makes you happy when you sing it just well, whistling around the house or something? Oh, around the house, I don't usually sing my own things. Oh. Not around my house. No. <laughs> No. Do you ever have a song stuck in your head? I do, all the time. I have, a song, I have a song in my head all the time. Mark, my wonderful assistant, says, okay, what do you hear? What's the song you're hearing? I went this, I went, well, don't you, have, don't you do that? Don't you have a song in your of head? Of course. I do. I do all the time. But, uh, yeah, what's my favorite song yeah. on stage? Yeah. I guess it would be One Voice okay. or Forever in a Day. Okay. Those are the two. Okay. Yeah. Now, next question. When you are in the process of writing a song, what comes first, the music or the lyrics? The idea. The idea. Yeah. Well, okay. you know, we come from the, 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 the years where you actually had ideas for songs. Mm -hmm. Like we talked about, the records that they make today are all about rhythm, not so much the idea. Mm -hmm. So the most difficult thing is the idea. What are we going to say? What are we trying to, 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 uh, to, to say during this song? Then the fun part is writing it, but first it's the idea. Okay, I, I'm, I'm listening to you, but I'm also listening to my friend Frank upstairs. We are officially now getting limited in our quantity of this. Amazing. We started with 26,000 CDs. We have 8,500 left. That's it, and there Wonderful. are a lot of people on the phones. That's Please so be patient great. with this. Uh, Barry's gonna sing some more for us, but I wanted to uh, give you an opportunity to talk about anything else you have coming up or that we should know about or... or no, just this, uh, you know... Just, uh, just uh, besides just, this fabulous CD, of course. I've had a great time over the last six, seven months after that wonderful tour. We did a really big one. You've been then, working hard. Yeah, and we've been mm -hmm. back and forth from Florida to, well, yeah. to, you know. And so I just said, I gotta stop, you know, I just gotta stop, and I did, I had a great time. But like I said, I miss everybody else, and that's the only thing I'm thinking of. I'm starting to meet with my musicians. I'm starting to meet with my set designers, mm -hmm. and I guess it, I guess it may actually happen that I go out. A what do you think it should? We take a vote right here. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's going to happen. Definitely, you'll be letting us know first, right, Barry? Of course, I'll call you. Okay. Right. Now, my husband has a question. If I don't ask you, I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. He, we have a recording studio at home. He doesn't play music, but he's a, a voice guy. So mm -hmm. he wants to know: Do you do a lot of your work at home? Do you have a studio in your house? Is I that do. where you kind of come up with your ideas? I do and... all of it by myself. Okay. Thanks to my wonderful David Benson, he's taught me how to work these very complicated machines that you can make records on. Mm -hmm. And now I do it all by myself. I do it whenever I want. That's always so great about this album. Whenever I was ready to sing with one of my duet partners, they were always ready. Yeah. They were <laughs> always singing in tune. <laughs> they never asked for anything. And the, the second part of his question is, does that mean you also work in your pajamas and your slippers? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. You know, I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I have a melody going through my head, and I go up to the studio, and there I am as the sun comes up, and I've never been happier. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, we love you so much for being here. We have Thank only 7,000 left. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Don't dilly dally. You want to get your CD from us rather than somewhere else because A, we have a better price, B, Barry's here and you're supporting him <laughs> and us, and also you get a bonus CD. So that's our thank you and Barry's thank you to you. You get four tracks from Live in London recorded back in 2012. These were four that were fabulous, but I can't believe this song didn't make it onto the album, I this know, next one. I know. But they didn't, and so they've never been released before. So, hmm, how would everyone like to hear Trying to Get the Feeling Again? Yeah. Uh-huh, a little bit. Okay, Barry.
Take it away. I love you. I love you. Okay, let's go. Barry, please come back soon. I will. Tell Thank us about you all your tour. So much. Barry Manilow, everybody. 